hi and welcome to unity tutorial this very tutorial i'm just going to show you guys how to create a game object with a primitive mesh renderer and this very one that you guys are looking at was created just using c sharp script alone there isn't much to it but it's very interesting and i feel i should share this very knowledge with you guys you, that you can create your own objects game objects just using codes so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start a new project entirely let's end this as you can see there's nothing here apart from this and just these two cubes i just add those ones there but let's start a new project there we go guys i'm going to start a new one by clicking on new and the next thing I'm going to do is I'll give this project a name. I'll call it Primitive Match. And I'll be underscore Match. So that's the name of my project, Primitive Match. I will now click on Create Project. But make sure you select 3D. So click on Create Project. Okay, my project is ready. So what I'm going to do now is let's go to File and let's save this scene as maybe Primitive primitive mesh game so that's the name of my project primitive mesh game so let's click on save there we go now that's my project right there the first thing i'm going to do is you see right up here i'm just going to create an empty game object there we go that's my empty game object right there so you guys can see there's nothing happening so Make sure that empty game object is selected and let's come to add components. Click on add component and what I want is new script. And the programming language I intend to use is C sharp. So let's give it a name. I'm just gonna call it as a sample mesh. There we go. And let's click on create and add. There we go, that's it right there. Make sure the sample mesh is selected. There we go. Now click on open. Okay guys, my coding environment is ready. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create the plane. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I will delete the void update function because I'm not going to need that. So let's get rid of that. Delete and in here inside the void stat first thing is let's say game object that is the game object and i want to define a variable there the variable is going to be called plane because i want to use that to be my the name of the object that i intend to create so game object dot create primitive open a bracket and that's going to be a primitive primitive type dot plane there we go that's it i've just created a plane using this line of code so i'm going to save it now let's go straight into my into my unity development environment itself and right inside my unity development environment the first thing i would like to do is you see my script i'm going to move that copy it and place just place it right inside the game object there and if you click on the game object now that is it right there okay if you let's run it and you see what i'm talking about and there we go that's the plane that i've just created now using these that very single line of code so let's go back to my lines of codes so right here now the next thing i would like to create is let's create a cube so i'm just gonna copy that paste it right underneath here and change the object name to cube and in here you see the primitive i will now change the primitive dot cube there we go i've just created a cube there however i need to define a coordinate for this very cube itself so i'm going to say cube dot transform dot position 
and this very position I'm gonna have to use new vector new vector 3 however the new vector 3 does take in three parameters so it's going to be let's say the first one is 0 0 comma 0 0.5 coordinates okay because it's in decimal point so I put in the F comma 0 and in here let's enter semicolon okay let's save that and go straight to our unity environment right there so I will now run it and let's see and you see that the plane and the cube okay let's go back to the coding area we can always end that and right here inside the coding area the next thing I want to do is I want to create a sphere so let's copy that so it's now going to be a bit easy paste that in there change this to sphere and I'm going to now come in here just change the declaration in there change the primitive type to sphere and right in here I'm going to have to change that as well the object I'm going to change the object to sphere there now one important thing is and I want to change the location of it instead of it being 0 0.5 just like the one up there I'm going to say 0 I'm going to say 1.5 and that's it okay if I save this and go to my unity development environment this is what you will see if we run it there we go look at it right there okay the sphere is right there and as you can see if you look at the hierarchy we now have the plane we have the cube and we have the sphere okay now let's add a capsule and a, a cylinder so end that let's go back to the coding area right here I'm just gonna copy this copy both and change it around paste this is going to be a capsule and right here let's change the object dot capsule and let's change this one to capsule as well okay that is fine and what about the coordinate so I'm going to just change this to 2 comma 1 and 0 so okay the next one is I'm gonna to have to change this as well so let's change this to cylinder and this is going to be a cylinder as well so select that dot cylinder right and this is going to be cylinder there we go now what about the coordinate I'm just gonna copy all of this and change that the other one to minus okay so one will be to the left and the other one will be to the right of the cube itself so let's save that save and let's come straight to our unity environment right there so let's run it and you see that you see what I'm talking about guys there we go look at that okay that is just using those couple of lines of codes and this is what we come up with okay so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed but before I go these are the lines of code and I will also include the unity documentation website for these very lines of code within my description area so that you guys can have a go at it and if you want to change it around or do whatever you want to do with it so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now bye for now